Well, good morning and welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. This week we're continuing our looking at the themes of Advent. If you remember the first week of Advent was hope, second week of Advent is love, third week of Advent, which we've been talking about this week, is joy. And then next week we'll be talking about peace, and we'll look at the theme of peace next next week. One of the things that I guess I observed um, this year and thought about more is, do you realize that three of the four themes of Advent are the first three fruit of the Spirit? Uh, if you don't remember from Galatians, uh, Paul lists the fruit of the Spirit as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. But think about the first three, love, joy, peace. And I think that the order is very important because I think love has to come first. I think everything flows from, from love. If you don't have love, because God is love, God gives his love towards us. It's, it's God's love for us that he sent his only son. That's why we have Christmas is because God loved us. Sin son and and so love is is that and also love is the preeminent Christian character. Um, Jesus said that they will know you by your love, and so it is important for us to get that one first. Uh, the great commandments to love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, and all your strength. And to love others as you love yourself. Those are the two great commandments. And Jesus even said, all the law and the prophets hang on those two. Uh, so it's very important that we get love right. It is what Jesus taught. It is what the angels talked about. Uh, love is a distinguishing mark of the Christian. It is the first um fruit of the Spirit that the others flow from. But after you have love, you have joy. And uh, that joy is is an experience. We've talked about it today. I mean, this week. Uh, if you want to have joy, you, you look to love. Now, we've talked about joy is different than happiness, and joy is different than, than pleasure. You get joy by looking at your life of, of, of love. Uh, when you love God and you love others, you have joy in your life. You experience joy. And it comes from love. It is just stemmed in that. It also flows into peace. Uh, peace and the word is shalom in Hebrew. And it is a greeting still today. Shalom, shalom. And uh, peace. And shalom means that you're right with God and you're right with others. And that flows from love. To love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. To love others yourself. When you do those two, you have peace in your life. It is a peace that passes human understanding. You can't understand peace when you have it. So love, joy, peace. And this week we have kind of featured joy. And I, and I hope that you've understood that joy basically comes from God. And I think you... But there are non-Christians who experience joy sometimes when they, they get caught up in something beautiful or something like that. And that's a God thing. But the ultimate joy comes in a person. And that person is Jesus Christ whom we celebrate coming this Christmas. And uh, when you receive Jesus as your Savior, he comes in and that joy never leaves. Uh, kind of like the old song, I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. It never leaves, and it's, it's significant. 
Well, we've done another week of Advent. Next week, we'll look at the theme of peace. Uh, that's the fourth theme in, in Advent as we lead, lead up to Christmas. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, there's some good teaching there. We're also going to look at, uh, that's the candle of the wise men. So we're going to look at uh, wise men and we're going to look at Herod uh, and, and, and all that... Uh, that entails with Herod and the wise men and the killing of the children. Uh, we're going to look at those passages as well as the, the theme of peace uh, during, during next week. So I look forward to next week as we get for Christmas. What's well, the weekend? It's Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. And I hope if you're here in town, you'll join us in church Sunday. Uh, we'll be uh, lighting the candles. We'll be singing Christmas songs. Uh, we'll be having a great, great message. I'll be having a message on peace and uh and we'll look a little bit at the wise men herod and all but uh but looking forward to church on sunday if you don't live in this area hope you'll find a good church to go to but have a great weekend and i'll see you monday